What time is it? It's ten past twelve. How can you sleep? Easy. With luck, maybe I'll never wake up. Oh, it's hot. As a student, we listened to a biologist give a series of lectures. When he was doing research in Africa, he was attacked by a lion. The lion had him in his jaws, actually shaking him. But the thing was, the man felt no fear, no terror, only a kind of lassitude, a languid sleepiness. He was rescued, and later, when he thought about it, he thought maybe it was a law of nature, a kind of a blessing, really, that when the victim is in the jaws of the beast, he's anesthetized. That's an interesting story. But it's not you they have in their jaws. Next time it could be me, or you. This time it's Sandoval. We'll get Sandoval back out of their teeth. And when we do, you can... Ask him how languid it was. They've tortured him. That may be. Tell me, when you sleep, do you dream? Yes. I dream that we're waiting for a man, and when he comes, we kill him. I told you we'll get Sandoval back. And if we don't, they can't refuse. of spiritual conflict in the 20th century. Injustice and human degradation are evil. They must be fought by all those who value the freedom and dignity of the human spirit. But how? Can violence ever be justified? Doesn't violence destroy the very human values it is supposed to serve? And what does it do to those who engage in it? Inside, I mean. All right, on time. How are the others? Oh, well, not a scratch. It went like silk. Good. All right, the schedule stays as we planned it. The messages go to the general police, just as we laid it out. Right. You have faith in those butchers you work for? What do you want with me? Have faith, little friend. Pray for faith. Hold the door. All right. Come with me. This way. You sit down, please. See how well you're treated? Would you say they've treated our friend Sandoval so graciously? What are you going to do? Tell us your name. You know my name? Tell us anyway. Anthony Morell. Good. I think we'll get along well, Mr. Morell. My name is Mr. Monday, this is Mr. Tuesday, Mr. Wednesday, or any other name you might like. Which is Juan? 
He called someone Juan. There were to be no names. I, 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 I made a slip and the pig picked it up. That was a mistake. But it's not significant because there are a million Juans. Don't worry about it. You did well today. Wait outside. Wait for the message. We'll be all right here. You don't think you would divide us by a little thing like that, do no, you? No. No, I didn't. I didn't think that. Good. Look, today we risk our lives to save one of us. We're all brothers in this together. Can you understand that? Mr. Morell, I think you should try to help us to make conversation with you to pass the time. Until when? Until 6 o'clock. Until they set Sandoval free. Or until they kill him. None of this has anything to do with me. Oh, yes. Yes, it has all the world to do with you. You see, if they kill our friend, we kill you. You understand the subtle connection? Drink of water, please. You think they've tortured Sandoval? I don't know. Do you think they'll shoot him at six o'clock? How should I know? Well, thank you. Why don't you tell us your profession, Mr. Morell? You know my profession. Make conversation. I'm first assistant to the Ministry of Justice. First? First? <laughs> We're impressed. First of how many? There is a whole department. Uh, you know this. It's nonsense. You pick me up in front of the Palace of Justice. Why do you ask me things you already know? And who are we? I don't know. Tell them who we are. Well, we're revolutionaries. Wild-eyed savages. We're minions of Moscow, puppets of Peking, agents of the CIA, or emissaries from Mars. There is no sin, no outrage, no crime of which we are not capable. Who are you? Citizens. We're citizens like you, Mr. Morell. We're men. Like Sandoval. And like Sandoval, we object to a government that says objection is a crime against the state. That opposition is criminal. To print an unauthorized newspaper is criminal. To form a union is criminal. To talk about a strike, that's criminal. To feed our families is also criminal to men like us. And to many men like us. Now, we don't care for your form of government. Your generals, your police, your prisons. Your government is an offense against morality. I... I don't give orders for such things. I, you, you know my capacity. My work is with certain legal detail. I have nothing to do with political arrests. Nor do we. That makes us equals. I, uh, I think you should try to understand this. Uh, the government knows that we have you in our hands. They've even received proof. They also understand the price of your release. Now, it is not our wish to stain ourselves with your blood, but that is not really our decision. Your government, your government, your leaders will decide. I see. I understand this threat. I understand you're wishing to free your friend. But if he's killed, if they do this thing, what's to be gained by killing me? I, I, what, will that, what will that give you? Two deaths 
instead of one. What sort of diabolical morality is this? Morality. Morality stops at the firing squad. Do you know Sandoval's crime? He's a revolutionary. In the mine where Sandoval works, the air is poisoned. He said he wouldn't work in the poison there. He said others shouldn't work in the poison there. And for this, he's to be shot as an example to those who would subvert the power of the state. Well, none, of, none of this is my doing. Do you think I approve of such things? What do you approve of, Mr. First Advisor to the Ministry of Justice? Don't think I'm so different from you. I, too, hope for better times. Well, for your good hopes, Sandoval's wife will be most grateful. Well, I have a wife, too. And three children of my family. Why have you done this to them? Why do you work for such people? What do you mean, such? Such people can be persuaded. And I do what I can whenever it's possible for my people. Oh, yes, your people. Yes, they're my people, too. What is my crime? That I'm not like you, I'm no gunman? I'm a bureaucrat. I administrate their laws. And one day, because of men like me, those laws may change. But you, with your violence, you accomplish nothing. Terror, death. But in time, I will accomplish something, not much, a little something. In the end, you will accomplish Sandoval's release. That will be your great accomplishment, and you may Tell your children how well you serve your people. What, what if he's executed? Then you will serve in another way. And in a few hours, it'll all be determined. Hello! Morel? Morel? Let's lift him. I think he's better off this way. I pity him, poor man. You're so solicitous, as though you were afraid you'd damaged him. And yet you'd kill him. And you wouldn't. He's right. All we have is bluff. If, if they kill Sandoval, our bluff is finished. To kill him would be useless. You call it a bluff and we're already finished. Finished! Morel is a fact. Our threat is a fact. The only weapon we have is our strength, our will. The enemy will sense these things. They must know that we will do what we say. And only then will they release Sandoval. And only then will we release Morel. They've done it. What? Sandoval is dead. What? Five hours early. They just announced it on the radio. Well, uh, well it, they could be lying. It, it could be a mistake. He's dead. It's their answer to us.
They seem to have missed our intention. Those animals. My friend, we've done the best we can. Have we? Well, it's not finished yet. It was finished when you walked away. When I walked away. Always the assumption that I would be the one to do it. The assumption is only that you're the best of us. The strongest. The most determined. If you like. If I like. And what if I asked you to do it? Then I'd ask you why. And then what? Then I would do as you order me. But it's unjust, you know. You say that all men are brothers. I say even him. Even Morel. Kill him for me. Why? So the next time they'll judge our threat differently. Because the next time we'll capture one of the leaders, one of the top ones. And they'll know it's useless to capture one of ours because without doubt, without doubt, we'll kill one of theirs. Then how long does this go on? Death and death. It stops with Morel. I won't do it. I had to know. It's for me, this job. Then I order you not to do it. Morel means nothing to them. They've thrown him away like garbage. But we don't execute innocent hostages. We're not like them. The price is too high. Well, he's just a foolish little man. Besides, I don't even think he is one of them, not in his heart. And what if he were? He isn't. But when he goes back to them, he'll tell them that we were weak. That when the moment came, we failed too easily. No, we'll make ourselves felt in other ways. My God, please listen to me. Don't kill him. Sandoval is, is gone. We, we've lost him. Let it be your way with Morel. Don't tell him anything. Send him to me. It's finished here. We'll need the car in a few minutes. And him? It's been decided. In there. He wants to talk to you. Don't be afraid. speak if you like thank you just just as you must choose so I choose oh and how have I chosen clearly to kill me and how have you chosen to die but with a certain gladness that your Sandoval is dead, and soon you too, all of you, fanatic madmen, vermin, Morel. to be destroyed. Until this moment, I have taken the easiest way, just doing my work. But now, I choose to be with them, to be your enemy. I will not die without identity. I choose my leaders. 
I choose my death. Well, you've made a magnificent moment for yourself. You know, Morale, you've lived the life of a dung beetle crawling in your master's filth. You're blind. Blind to everything but yourself. You call that something to die for? Yes! Well, you're free to go. What, what did you say? I said you're free to go. What do you mean? What, what are you doing to, what, what kind of game is this? We're letting you go. To kill you now would be pointless. You are pointless. I'm a man. I don't know what I want. I want my life! Tonight, when you eat with your wife and your children, when you take a glass of wine to celebrate your existence, think of Sandoval's wife. Think of Sandoval's children. And think of the men that you serve. And think of us, Morel. When are you letting me go? Soon. You'll be taken to another place and released. What you do then, what you tell your people, that's your affair. I'll, I'll tell them how you spared my life. But it wasn't out of fear. Make them understand that. You know, you're fortunate I'm not a man of rage. You might never have finished your brave speech. The police? Just now. They've been patrolling the docks. They called to us to stop. We ran in different ways. They, they shot one. Tell me. Tell me there's one, Dave. Legs. Where are they now? In the car. They took them. They're going to make them talk about us, about this place. Right, we'll be leaving here soon. Go. Save yourself. Be careful. And be calm. What about the hostage? He's already dead. Morel, he could go free. That was before Juan. You can't do this thing. No, it's Juan that must be saved. It's time for them to know who they're dealing with. The plan's no good anymore. We'll get another hostage. It's already failed. Only if we fail. Now we prove ourselves. They have to know that we're sincere men, that we will do what we say. One hostage dead, and another to bargain with. Murderers? Like our enemies? If you were one, what would you expect of me? Not to do this thing to yourself. I'm sorry. It's no longer open to debate. <laughs> Are we leaving now? Yes. <laughs> we'll be leaving in a few minutes. You know, it's, it's, it's odd to come from life to the very edge of death and then, then back to life again. I'll certainly behave very differently after this. Every moment will be a blessing just to touch the faces of my children. Will we have to wait long? No, not long. It'll be over very soon. Mr. Morell, why don't you, uh, why don't you tell me about your children? How old are they? And what are their names? Well, my, my daughter is six. Her 
name's Dolores. And my son, my firstborn. survive and now another hostage and another death it had to be done oh, I'm tired I don't want to sleep yes the lion has you in his jaws now no other way. Don't you understand? There was no other way. I understand that you've destroyed part of yourself. We have to get Ron. We have to get out of here. I must think. Oh, I can't seem to think now. Then listen to me. What we've done here accomplished nothing. Worse than nothing. Between us, it'll never be the same. We have to meet with the other men. It's our obligation. We have to make a plan to, to get another hostage. Oh, yes. We'll meet and we'll talk. While the lion shakes us and in the heat of the day, we'll dream of death. Are you ready? Yeah. What about Morel? A phone call to the police. They'll find him. Or they'll find us. We're not bad men. What we want is right. These things we must do, these... these terrible things, they're not of our choosing. But the things we... the things we want, that we believe in, that we fight for, that much is right, isn't it? Yes, that much is right. Only that much. Insight is a production of the Paulist Fathers, a group of Catholic priests who serve their God by serving those outside their church.